How many times has Rosa asked you out? Fuck you, you bastard. I don't like Santa Claus anyways. I never believed in Santa Claus. How does it... Why not? Why did you not believe in Santa Claus? Because I was told at an early age that uh, Santa Claus wasn't real. So you believe them? I believe my... Oh, duh. Because there is no fat man in a suit. Now, there was a guy named St. Nicholas. I do believe that. There was a guy named St. Nick or whatever. And Was he a hockey player? No. Did he vote Sarah Palin to be governor? No. All right, continue. <laughs> There's a North Pole, but not the kind that you see in Hollywood. What about the South Pole? There's a South Pole, too, but... Oh, really? Have you ever been to the South Pole? No. Oh. Would you like to go to the South Pole? Why did you not want to sit on Santa Claus's lap? I mean, it's Santa Claus. All right, little boys it and girls. It wasn't Santa Claus, because there's no Santa Claus. So maybe it was Santa Claus. Maybe it was there just one no of Santa's Santa helpers who was helping Santa Claus, you know... Yeah. Yeah, he's the same guy who asked me for money later on out when in the did, streets. <laughs> what were you doing talking to this guy later on out in the streets? He came up to me and my stepdad. Why? Was his name Uncle Sam? No. Was he trying to recruit his you for the United called, States Army? He called He called himself Bob. Bob. Was Bob, a.k.a. Uncle Sam, trying to recruit you for the Army? No. Was he wearing a top hat uh, that looked like the American my flag? My recruiter was not named Bob. We're not talking about your recruiter. The only... We're talking about Uncle Sam, who goes by the name of Bob when he's not Santa Claus. Why do you not believe in Santa Claus? Because he's not real. Why is he not real? There is no fat man that can make it around the world in how long? 24 hours? Do you believe in aliens? No, I don't believe in aliens. Why do you not believe in I aliens? I believe in illegal aliens. Whoa. And I believe in the North Pole. There is a North Pole. There's North and South Pole. That's already been proven. We know that. Is the center of the Earth hollow? Hollow? That, some people believe that, some people don't. I don't know. I've never been to the center of the Earth. I believe it's full of magma or whatever, but they're in the core. But Understandable. So, you've never believed in Santa Claus? No. Nope. I was trying to fight you almost got in a fight. No, I always got into fights. Always got into fights with kids. When I was like in first grade. So you were the kid that debunked the Santa Claus myth. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm at the mall, right? Madison Square Mall. And there's this guy who's in a Santa suit. And he's like, well, my stepdad wanted me to go sit in his lap first. And I was like, no, I don't want to. He's like, why not? You should believe in Santa Claus. I'm like, I don't believe in Santa Claus. Mom already told me that Santa Claus is a real, so... I mean, there's no point. I never get lumps of coal, but I don't get any presents either. So, I mean, you know, I heard if he does give you presents, he's going to give you a lump of coal. I didn't get either of them. My stepdad and I are walking to the restaurant that's beside the mall, and Bob was just getting out of his Santa suit, and he sits on the curb. And he's like, hey, you think you can spare some change? And he asked me, and I looked at my stepdad, I was like, I'm not giving you any change, you know. Yeah, my stepdad was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out, whatever." How about, uh, how about I buy you some food? He's like, "No, I just want change. I just want some money." And my mom asked him, "Well, don't you have a job?" Well, yeah, but you know, I spend that money on booze. So, long story short, Santa Claus is an alcoholic. There was a St. Nick, yes, but there wasn't a Santa Claus. Santa Claus that we see today has evolved from hundreds of years ago. Did you know that Jesus' birthday, his supposed birthday, has been turned into a pagan ritual? How do you feel about that? It, it definitely confuses some Christians. Because a lot of Christians ask, well, if you were born on that day, wouldn't it be cold? And I don't think God would want his son to be born in the cold. I don't understand. Why would people care about that? I don't know. They People have asked that question? Yeah. It gets asked all the time. You mean like, why couldn't God have just planned out the birth to be in the summer months like so many parents try to do by having sex in October? <laughs> <laughs>
Did you ever sit on uh, the Easter Bunny's lap in the mall to tell him what you wanted? No! To Why not? I hate the Easter Bunny. Why do you hate the Easter Bunny? <laughs> because the Easter Bunny caused me more hell than the <laughs> Santa Claus did. What the fuck did the Easter Bunny ever do to you? <laughs> bunnies, bunnies don't lay eggs and hide them. Why not? <laughs> if you don't believe in a mammal that lays eggs, then why do you believe in a man that lived for 33 years without trying to have sex? Because he was the son of God. So? <sighs> because he was the son of God. If sex is a gift from God to human beings, then why would he let his own son partake in that gift? Why would he favor other people over his own son? That's like giving ice cream to the neighbor's kids instead of your own. I don't know if I'm going to answer that question. Why are you afraid to sit on the Easter Bunny and Santa's lap at the same time? I wasn't afraid to sit on the Easter Bunny's lap. But you hate the Easter Bunny. No, I just simply... My mom didn't even want me going. My mom was cool at the Santa Claus because whatever, you know, it's Santa Claus. But the Easter Bunny, come on, that's a little ridiculous. How is that ridiculous? It's a bunny laying eggs. And what you said, why would you sit on a, it's not like you're going, hey, what's your, what's your Easter wish this year? What do you want for Easter? We don't give gifts out for Easter. Edner, why don't you take your shirt off and get comfortable? No, I'm good. Why not? I don't feel comfortable. Just take your fucking shirt off. I'm comfortable like I am, so. Do you like what you see? Yes, yeah, Sports Center is on. I'm not talking about Sports Center. Have you ever taken candy from a stranger? No. Why not? Because I never wanted to take candy from a stranger. Plus, no strangers ever offered me candy. Ouch. Look angry. Extremely angry. Take your glasses off. <laughs> Set the glasses to your side. There you go. Now look at the dog. You're very angry. Bark. Bark like you're mean and you want the bone. Right. I don't want to bark. Bark! <laughs> bark angrily. Just say bark really mean if you have to. I can't do this. Trust me. You'll, you'll be fine. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ebner, that was that was good. Just just do it over and over again. You gotta look mean, and you gotta do it without laughing. And you just gotta say bark, bark, over and over again. Now do it. Okay, I'll see if I can do this. Okay.